Hey, I have just uh, happened across a specimen in the Krugomphus genus. I am fairly confident that this is uh, Krugomphus ocracius. A uh, common name is the copper pine spike. Uh, there is another species called Krugomphus rutilus, which you will often see uh, described as a North American species. Uh, it turns out that that's a European-only species. Um, as with a lot of other mushrooms that I find that are a little unusual, especially things that grow on the ground with dark colored gills, I am going to take this home, spend a little bit more time researching it, but uh, I am confident it's in the Krugomphus genus, and I am, I'd say, 75% confident that this is um, Krugomphus ocracius. Anyway, uh, Krugomphus in general, they're called uh, pine spikes commonly. They're in this lovely order of fungi called the Gumphidiaceae, uh, which includes my absolute favorite uh, mushroom from a common name perspective, which is Hideous Gumphidius. So Hideous Gumphidius is called such because it's got this big old snotty cap and it's, you know, lumpy and it's got uh, sort of this yellow coloration. It's super disgusting in all the right ways. Uh, but Krugomphus, um, and in this particular case Krugomphus uh, ocracius, has a sticky cap, so it's not nearly as snotty as a lot of the uh, Gumphidius mushrooms, but Krugomphus, some of them do have a sort of sticky slimy cap, including this one. Um, the common name is the copper pine spike because you have sort of, um, you know, an orangey color that starts to take on the appearance of sort of um, tarnished copper a little bit. And so uh, because it's, um, you know, on the slimy side, it's also a little shiny on top. Um, the uh, distinguishing features from underneath are that you have this uh, sort of, you know, um, yellowy to browning um, uh, gill surface. The uh, spores themselves are a brownish black color. So as the mushroom is young, it's a little bit lighter, but as the uh, spores start to develop, it, it starts to, um, you know, turn this more orangey color. The uh, stem is also sort of a, a light orange, a little bit peachy and salmony. It does have, um, you know, a, uh, a stem that is uh, non-hollow and it has sort of a, you know, light yellowish flesh. Uh, but the main thing about Krugomphus and the Gumphidiaceae, I just love that, um, is that they all have decurrent gills. And decurrence is just uh, basically gills that run down the stem. And so, uh, you know, in this case, they don't run very far, but you can see that they are uh, definitely not separate. The cap and the stem are kind of of a piece and the gills just connect them. So um, these are listed as edible. I have never eaten a Gumphidius or a Pine Spike, Krugomphus, anything like that. Um, as with many other mushrooms, it's a question of familiarity and abundance. Usually a mushroom I'm gonna eat, I don't also say when I'm in the woods, I'm gonna take this home and spend more time with a book on it just because I like to uh, gather and identify a mushroom a couple of times before I eat it uh, with a great deal of confidence. Anyway, Big fan of this. I think it's uh, kind of, you know, cute and gross. Um, I really do wish I could find a hideous confidious today. Now I've got um, a taste for it, but I kind of doubt my chances. So uh, nonetheless, I'm a big fan. Um, since we have so much pine in North Carolina, this is a fairly common genus, so you ought to get to know it.